Okay, sorry for the delay on modeling this last and final part on modeling an ear. Just been really busy with a lot of things. So here we go. We'll add. Um, I'm gonna start editing a little more to this so that we can get the ear finished. So as you can see, this is what we left off, and. We're going to connect the back part, the inner part of the indentation of your ear right now. That everyone has, more or less. So we're going to go under target weld. And that goes to there. I'm going in to out. This one goes here. And you can see why I changed it. Because it then pulls it inwards. And uh, if you do it the other way, this is that way, it indents that way. So we're going to have it flow this in way. So this one goes to this one. And go this one to this one. This one right here goes to this one. I'm going you can see that right now we have this extra piece. And we're gonna turn off target weld and I'm gonna move it over. Not too much, so you can still see it. So we have as you can tell we are gonna have extra pieces. This will go there and this will go here and this will go here but then we won't have um, so that's how it will go so you, that's why we turned off target weld to move it so you could see where it's going a lot easier so this one goes to here and you still see that it is closed off and this we're turning off target weld again I'm gonna move these over a little bit so it don't stretch as bad when we work on it. Okay. I'm going to go back to target weld. This one goes to this one. And this one goes to this far one over here. So as you see, it's still all there. Now, you notice that we got this uh, spot here. We have to turn off target weld it. This is like, where does this go? What we need to do is we need to extrude this face, or actually extrude this part up, like move it up a little bit, and then this needs to connect to this. So we're gonna extrude. Hit OK, move to the left, turn on your left side face, left, and move it like so. Want it kind of straight. And we're going to extrude it one more time. Hit OK, move to the left, turn, and we're going to pull. See, we can't really connect it straight away like that. We need to add an edge here. So we'll select this edge, click ring, and connect. So now this will connect to here. So we'll go under polygon, delete this face, and this face. And you'll see why. So now we go under vertices, and we're selecting these two vertices real quick. We're going to pull them upwards. Uh, the reason why we're doing that is we don't want too much stretching to go between the two. So we're going to select these two and these two as well and pull up. And move. Only this one, these stay, but these two need to move in just a little bit. And these two you select, we pull that way. 
these two we select we'll pull down and over there so now we're going under target weld and we're gonna select this vertex here and this goes straight down and we're selecting this one this one goes to this one so as you see there we go so we select this goes to this one and we'll turn to the back side and as you notice there's this thick part don't worry about it yet we'll delete in a second and that connects there so that takes care of that part of the ear so now you see that we have this box here so that stays there so these two ver this vertex will connect to this one and you'll notice that we won't have another vertex to connect to so what we need to do is so that it starts to flow correctly meaning like these will go here so this goes I'll turn this off so this would go to this one and then this one and this one connects and we'll do those two last so this one here and this one needs to connect so we'll go under target well and we'll connect those two right now so select and connect actually you go the other way so this one goes down so you go downwards see better now this one goes here undo Okay, so I will actually put all the other parts together first before working on that. So right now, we need to go under um, polygon, select this face, this face, and delete, because you want to keep it still kind of open. Now we select this face, hit delete, and we're deleting this face because this connects there we'll hit delete so now we go back under vertex and you'll see all the vertex that needs to be connected so this one right here connects to this one this one right here connects to we'll need to look from this side this one right here goes here and this one goes right there so there's your ear and you can see that it's connected and this one right here connects to this one so there so now we have this connects to this one this connects downwards And this goes to this one. Actually, undo. So we need to go back under polygon and delete this face. And the reason why we're deleting it is because um, then we'll have this, as you see, well, I could also show from the other side with the vertex. These two don't have a place to go. So these two would have this would actually connect to this one and this one connects to this one as I said before but this one has nowhere to go so what we can do is we go under edge select the edge which is you can also see through from the front select ring and then connect so now it has a place to go so this one goes here this one goes here and 
this one goes here. See? So there's your ear. It's finished, it's connected. Um, what we're going to do real quick here is um, pull it out away from the actual image real quick so you can see it. And we're going to hit NERMS. And there's your ear. There's one part left real quick that we need to do, and that's um, turn off your NERMS roll. And we're selecting the edges up here. And the reason we're selecting these is these edges need to be pull extruded. So we're going to shift, pull out, undo. We're going to loop actually and it will select all the edge then shift pull and you could pull like so and you can see that on the top it works fine and there's some parts that are a little off so this is where you will just make sure the top's good and then you'll start selecting each edge pull it in a little bit so it looks a little rounder So it's not com like these odd parts that your ears don't do. So once we finish that, quickly do this. And pull up. And there we go. Now you turn on your nerves again. And now you have your ear. And you can pull it in more based on how thick you want your ear originally. And then you connect it to your head after that. You'll have to keep pulling these edges out more in order for um turn off my nerves. So you see what I'm talking about. You'll have to select these edges here to pull down more based on the shape of your head and so thank you for watching please leave your comments and have a good day thank you